Today we're going to show you how to adjust the timer circuit on the Sensenla toilet. It's uh, the timer is the burn cycle. So I'm going to lengthen the burn cycle on this toilet here. So what you need is a uh, Phillips screwdriver and you're going to take four screws out of the side on the top here. The screws will look like this here. And they're all in the side here. So there's one right here, there's one there, and same on the other side. And then you're going to take this push button, the rubber boot off it, this rubber boot, that just unscrews, see, and that holds the lid on. So next you're going to do is you're going to take the whole lid and pull it off. That little, <coughs> the little flapper inside is going to flap down and uh, when you reassemble it you want to put a piece of tape over that to hold these two pieces together. So set that aside for now and then take a look in here and if you know you need to do any cleaning okay, this is a good time to do some cleaning. Okay then this is the timer box here all your electronics are in here so make sure you you know unplug your cord and this is real simple. There was a piece of tape across here, just like there is here, just some clear tape. And then all you need to do is slide this piece off, and there's your timer right here. See how it's set? You can adjust the length of the burn just by turning this clear dial here. See how it's set for one hour right now? It's set on number one. I'm going to turn it up to one and a half hours. If, uh, say in the morning you have two people that use the toilet consecutively, that way you'll get a nice complete burn. Or if you have a lot of people in the house, say you have four or five people using this, you may need to lengthen your burn. If you get a smoke smell in your house, and if it's not doing a complete burn, if you see any black, the ashes should look gray. If the ashes look a little black, it's not a complete burn. And then just adjust this up. I'd go in like 15 minute increments and keep checking it until you're happy with it. I'm going to set mine to hour and a half. Okay, so then all there is to it, just slide that back on there. A piece of metal back on here like that you can put tape on there I think they did that for shipping and then, yeah she's gonna clean this but I'm going to show you how to put it back on you have to make sure this is taped together because when you go to tip it it's gonna flip apart so just put some tape on there that tape that will be easy to break off later and then you lay that on top line up your button hole with your button hopefully don't open up on you <clears throat> so this should be closed and then put your screws back in the side and you're done put that of course put that little rubber boot back on here and that's it guys that's how you adjust your timer